Hello everyone. Wanted to reiterate uh, the gratitude for my family, my teammates, and myself uh, for all the support that everyone has shown. Um, not enough words to describe uh, the word thank you um, for all the support from everyone. I also want to first provide an update of RJ Construction versus the AISD um, that is now in full swing. I encourage you to watch the previous videos if you have not done so. But to update you, the AISD and its lawyer, Dennis Eichelbaum, are doing just what Mr. Eichelbaum said he was going to do. To use sovereign immunity in the courts, to try and run my company out of business, the AISD board has appealed my company's case to the Fort Worth Court of Appeals to avoid paying the bill for my company's emergency services. You know, like the AISD said, we are the government and we think that we don't owe you to pay our bills and we don't want to. The AISD's appeal is intended to tie this case up for years to come, to bleed my company and until there's nothing left. But I remember what Arlington ISD's board told the media a couple weeks ago. The board indicated that the media, the ASD didn't, they wanted to settle this case, but that RJ Construction refused to mediate. Remember that? Well, here's the reality to what happened. In late March, I reached out to Dr. Marcelo Cavazos to meet with him and try to settle this with the AISD. But Dr. Cavazos refused to meet with me to resolve the issue. In early June, a meeting was scheduled between myself and the lawyer who represents AISD's insurance carriers. But AISD's lawyer, Dennis Eichelbaum, canceled the meeting between the AISD's insurance company's attorney and RJ Construction. This was to be a sit-down meeting to work out an agreement with the attorney for the AISD's insurance company. You know, the insurance company which is willing to pay for my company's emergency services for the AISD. We did not want to sue the AISD. We wanted and still want to reach a settlement with the AISD and avoid this lawsuit from proceeding forward. But we were forced to file a lawsuit against the AISD because AISD refused to mediate or engage in any other settlement negotiations. The AISD never made an offer to pay my company even a penny. And that remains true to this very day. After we filed our lawsuit, AISD asked the court to dismiss in the case because the AISD is the government and thinks that it does not have to pay its bills. A hearing took place on September 9th and thankfully the court denied the AISD's motion to have this case dismissed. And at that hearing, the AISD's attorney told the judge that the AISD wanted to mediate the case and asked the judge to send us to mediation so we could try to work out a settlement. This was the first time the AISD indicated a desire to reach a peaceful solution. Of course, I've wanted to make peace with the AISD from the beginning, so I asked my lawyers to formally ask the judge to send over mediation requests to the judge. But you know what AISD lawyer Dennis Eichelbaum did next. He opposed my company's request for mediation. So Mr. Eichelbaum totally reversed the course and opposed his own request to mediation. It's all in the court files. Again, I encourage you to read it. Instead of trying to meet with me and settle this dispute, the AISD has appealed the court's order and refused the AISD's request to dismiss my case. Apparently, the AISD would rather spend money to pay Dallas lawyers to try and bankrupt a local business. That is not local responsibility. This is just an abuse of governmental power. Members of the public have repeatedly asked, what can I do to help? Here's my answer. Exercise your rights as taxpayers and voters and demand answers from the AISD Board of Trustees. On October the 14th is the next board meeting. And if you really want to help, show up. We're giving away shirts at the office to wear to the meeting. Stop by. We will fix you up. If you're so compelled, register to speak. Make them explain why they think it's right to stiff a contractor 
who rescued them in an emergency. Make them explain why they are not even willing to sit down with me and try to reach a peaceful solution. Make them explain why they think it is right to hire a bunch of Dallas lawyers to try and run this local company out of business. And remind them that it was RJ Construction who ran to the AISD in its time of need.